Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk to you about how to let them down easy. So maybe you've been uh, texting online and you've even maybe taken it offline into emails or you've you've been on the phone texting and maybe you've had a phone call or even had a video chat or you've met in real life. Regardless of the scenario, I wanna give you a couple tips how to let him down easy. So before I jump into the tips on how to let them down easy, I want to talk to you about why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to send that text, to, to speak your truth in an email, on, a, on the phone call? Because we don't want to hurt men's feelings. And I hear this so much for the women that I work with. I don't want to hurt his feelings. So where did it start where other people's feelings, needs, and wants were more important than your own. Well, I'll tell you where it starts. It starts when we're children. We're conditioned, especially women, to be caretakers, to put other people's needs, feelings, and wants before our own. And what happens is if we don't uh, address that and start to recognize how dysfunctional that is as empowered adult women, then we'll continue to feel afraid to speak our truth. We'll end up going out with men that aren't a match for us, that we really don't like because we don't want to hurt their feelings. And basically, it's really not authentic it's not genuine and you need to float into a lot more honesty if you're going to be successful at dating and not only that to be successful at relationships because it is so important to put your feelings needs and wants first unless you consciously choose not to and then you better have a good reason because you need to come from a place of abundance when you fill your own cup with your needs wants and feelings then you have room for others but if you don't do that then you're always coming from lack and scarcity and that's one of the reasons why you might be afraid to uh, reject a man to next him as we call it but i want you to remember this here's a tip the first tip it's not a rejection, it's a redirection. You're redirecting him. And also what you're doing is you are you are saving so much of your valuable time. It's so important that you stay open and available and present for the man that you will connect with, that you will have chemistry with, that you have a lot in common with. But if you're if you're hanging out in relationships or texting or emailing with men that that it isn't going anywhere and you already know down deep you're actually taking up a lot of your space your energy your precious time and it's not serving you so there's really um, such a benefit for you to learn how to speak your truth and stand in your truth especially when it comes to dating so let's start with the uh, the first tip so step one is I want you to be honest and direct without explaining yourself and so here's why. First of all, men like it and appreciate it and respect you so much more when you're honest and direct. When you try to draw things out or hope that he gets the hints, it's not only insulting to their intelligence, but it's also, it's just not necessary. He needs you to be direct so that he can move on as quickly as you have. And why I don't want you to explain yourself is because you don't owe anyone an explanation as a grown woman, as an empowered woman, of why you make a decision. That is strictly your benefit unless you answer to somebody like a partner like um, somebody you're in a business partnership with that you're obligated to answer to then I do not suggest or recommend that you provide any reason why that's really your personal information and typically I see if you try to explain it just gets worse and it worse and you start to dig yourself into a corner so don't do that be direct and just speak your truth now let's go on to step number two Step number two is I want you to decide if you're going to text him or call him. And so how do you make this decision? It's really based on how much time you spent with him. If it's somebody that you met online and you've been chatting online or even on your phone uh, or even in a phone call, or even if you've met them in real life, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on what kind of interaction you want to have. Now, unless you've had a some kind of connection with them, then I always recommend that you go ahead and just text them if you have their phone number or email them if you don't, because it's just gonna save a lot of uh, uncomfortable feelings that might come up during a in-person you know, conversation, and then they're always gonna wanna know why. And if you're really choosing to meet, to meet them in person or on the phone, then you need to uh, explain why, because they're gonna ask you, and you're, there's no way you're gonna get out of there or get off the phone without an explanation. So I really recommend just send a text, just rip that bandage off really quickly. It only will sting once, redirect him so he can move on and find somebody that is a match. Redirect yourself quickly so that you can stay open to all those possibilities 
And unless there's some kind of really great connection, but you know you're not a match, but maybe you want to stay friends, but that's another conversation because I don't really recommend that, then go ahead and tell them on the phone or in person. All right, so let's move on to step number three. By the way, ladies, step number four is I'm going to give you a script that you can copy word for word and have this in your back pocket as your little tool to redirect men. So you're not rejecting them, you're redirecting them. All right, the next tip is um, is I want you to do a little happy dance. If you're feeling a lot of fear and you're hesitant and reluctant to do it because it's so out of your comfort zone, all you have to do is get up and start running around and doing a happy dance and going, woo, I'm confident, I'm the catch, I'm the prize. I'm not interested in this man. I need to clear him out so I can make room for my number one, for my guy, for my husband, whatever you, you want to say, but you need to just raise your energy level raise your vibration so th what that'll do is that'll create all this energy and, and confidence that'll propel you forward because that's what you need right now you need to be confident in your choice and if you aren't feeling chemistry or you feel like it's clear that there's no connection then you definitely need to do this sooner than later and so before I go on to the last and final tip I want you to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and like and comment in the section below um, because I really value your feedback I value your comments and I value your topic suggestions to make more great videos okay so let's jump into the final tip number four where I'm going to give you a script to, to use. You can text this online. You can text it from your phone. Um, you can email them. Okay, so it's basically, remember, very direct and honest. Hey, hey Jimbo. <laughs> I love saying that. I use that in my groups. Hey, Jimbo. Hey, Jimbo. It, uh, thank you. Start off with gratitude. Thank you so much for your interest. I'm flattered. I don't feel that we're a fit, but I know that we're both going to meet somebody amazing. Best Jackie. And that's it. It's that direct. It's that simple. Believe me, he doesn't want any more details. He's already like moved on. And um, so just be direct and send that out. And then as soon as you do, I want you to block him from your online and block him from your phone and so that you don't have to hear his question which he might say you know why are you uh why why didn't you think that we're a fit or you know i thought that we had a good connection or any kind of you know explanation that he's trying to get from you it's just not your responsibility and you're not obligated to provide any explanation because you're in a grown-up right and so it's much harder to do this on the phone um, and in real life but if you want to do it on the phone, I recommend that over meeting in real life. But if you have some kind of connection, say you're meeting dogs at the dog park, then go ahead and tell them when you're at the dog park. But if you're setting up a date to tell him that you're not a fit, that's going to be very difficult to do. So I don't recommend that. So maybe stick to the phone, but up to you. Your call, I don't know the situation. On the phone, I would just, you know, get him on the phone and just be like, Hi, do the chit chat and say, you know, Jim Bob, I really think that you're a great guy and I've really enjoyed the conversations we'd had and the couple dates we went on. And because of that, I just want to be um, really honest with you that I don't think we're a fit um, for long term, but I know that, you know, we're both going to meet somebody great. So I just wanted to wish you all the best. And again, thanks for the time we did spend together and, you know, good luck with your search. Wait for him to respond. He might have a response. And that's why being on the phone, be prepared to have a conversation about it. If you want to give him some feedback, you can, but I don't really recommend that. The kind of what kind of feedback would you give him anyway? Just say that um, I don't still think we have enough in common, or I'm really um, I'm really set on having someone that's as active as I am, or just you know, be prepared for that question if you put yourself in that position. Now, meeting in real life is a whole nother thing, like I said, so I really strongly urge you to just go ahead and do it in a text, email, or online. And so I hope this video helped you, and just remember, it's a redirection, not a rejection. It's honest, it's authentic, it frees your time up to move on, get good at doing this, it's confident, and it's, and it's honest. Okay, sending you lots of love. I'll see you in the next video.